Cool. All right, guys, in this video, we're going to cover the temporal bones and their important structures. So, first of all, we have the two temporal bones on the sides. First structure you need to know is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. So, the zygomatic process is this zygomatic process of temporal bone because it's reaching toward this bone, which you'll learn later is the zygomatic bone. Zygomatic arch is this whole thing including the piece that connects the zygomatic process to this piece of the zygomatic bone. So, zygomatic arch, zygomatic process of temporal bone. Mandibular fossa is going to be right here. There's some gel in it, but it's where the mandible would actually insert into the skull. Okay, So that's where the mandible inserts into the skull, mandibular fossa or depression. The mastoid process is going to be this little bump right here. You can feel it right behind your ear. So this is the mastoid process. Styloid process of temporal bone, make sure you put of temporal bone because you have multiple styloid processes in your body, is going to be this pin-like projection coming off the temporal bone on the inferior side of the skull. So this is the styloid process of temporal bone. The squamous part and petrous part of the temporal bone. So squamous part is all this smooth part of the temporal bone. And then when you go to the inside, you can still see part of the squamous part, the smooth portion. This mountain ridge or side is the petrous part of the temporal bone. And that has some important um, structures we'll talk about in a second. The temporal fossa, important to note that it includes multiple bones, okay? So the temporal fossa, is this depression right here in general, including the parietal, temporal, um, sphenoid, and frontal. So all four of those bones are included, but this entire depression right here is the temporal fossa. The external acoustic meatus is essentially just your external ear hole. Then your internal acoustic meatus is on that petrous part on the inside. So there's your internal acoustic meatus. Your carotid canal, from the inside, you can see the carotid canal on the top side of the petrous part right there. And if we double check, we can see it coming out of the back right there. There is our carotid canal from the back. Okay? So if we're approaching it from this side, our carotid canals are going to be right in here. Okay? From the bottom side. The foramen lacerum are these very medial holes. Once again, we're on the inferior side, but here are the foramen lacerum. How do you find them on the internal view? We flip it, and you can see them right there next to the sphenoid bone. That is the foramen.